Welcome to the Unisys Data Exchange tutorial video. This video introduces you to Unisys Data Exchange, its components, features, and benefits. Let's get started. What is Data Exchange? Unisys Data Exchange is a data integration tool that performs data extract, transform, and load, also known as ETL. In the ETL process, Data Exchange can extract data from a source database, known as Transformation Source, and then transform and load the extracted data to a target database, known as Transformation Target. The source database is supported by Data Exchange R, Enterprise Database Server, known as DMS2, which runs on ClearPath MCP. Enterprise Relational Database Server, known as RDMS, which runs on ClearPath OS 2200. And Microsoft SQL Server. The target database is supported by Data Exchange R, Microsoft SQL Server, and Enterprise Database Server, or DMS2, which runs on ClearPath MCP. In Data Exchange, you can find the following possible source to target transformations. Enterprise Database Server, to SQL Server, and SQL Server, to Enterprise Database Server. As seen here, in Data Exchange, Enterprise Database Server and SQL Server can function as a source database, or a target database. The other possible source to target transformation in Data Exchange is, Enterprise Relational Database Server, to SQL Server. Data Exchange allows you to select the data from the source database you want to capture, define the mappings for the data, known as transformations, and, at runtime apply the transformations to the data, and store the data to the target database, for additional analysis. Data Exchange constantly monitors the updates to the source database, and, you can get up to the minute changes, propagated to the target database. Now, Let's understand some concepts and terminology associated with data exchange. Data integration is the process used to combine data from many sources into meaningful and valuable information to drive your business successfully. Runtime transformation is the process of selecting one or more data, such as tables or columns from a source database known as the transformation source and then applying transformation definitions to these data, transforming them into a more valuable piece of information, and writing the result to the destination database, known as the transformation target. Transformation definition is a collection of mappings and expressions between the tables and columns that are defined between the transformation source and one or more transformation targets. Next, let's go through the data exchange components. Data Exchange has three components. Development Workbench, Windows Runtime, and the Host Components. Development Workbench is a Windows-based application designed to define transformations between a transformation source and transformation target. The defined transformations are stored in the Development Workbench repository. Additionally, using Development Workbench, you can validate and deploy the transformations and import and export the transformations. You will learn more about Development Workbench in the Features section of this tutorial. Data Exchange Windows Runtime comprises Runtime Service and Runtime Administration. Runtime Service applies the transformations to the data sourced via bulk data transformation and or change data transformation and posts the transformed data to the transformation targets. The data is processed and posted in the correct order without duplication or loss of data for all active transformations. Runtime administration is the centralized controller of the data exchange runtime environment. Runtime administration interfaces with runtime service and the host components to provide reporting and monitoring of the overall health of the system. And the final components are the host components. These include Data Exchange MCP Service, Data Exchange OS 2200 Agent, and Data Exchange Agent for SQL Server. Data Exchange MCP Service includes MCP Agent and DMS2 Adapter. 
MCP Agent is a distributed system service running on the MCP server. MCP Agent is used when Enterprise Database Server is used as the transformation source. MCP Agent monitors the audit trail associated with Enterprise Database Server and is responsible for passing the transformation related audit entries to the runtime service. DMS2 Adapter is also a distributed system service running on the MCP server. DMS2 Adapter is used when Enterprise Database Server is used as the transformation target. The adapter provides support to the runtime service to update the target Enterprise Database Server databases. Data Exchange OS 2200 Agent is a batch process running on the OS 2200 server. Each OS 2200 Agent instance monitors the audit trail associated with a given application group and is responsible for passing the transformation-related audit entries to the runtime service. And finally, Data Exchange Agent for SQL Server is a service running on the Windows partition. It monitors the SQL Server database change data capture, or CDC tables, and passes it to the runtime service. Next, let's look into what are the features of Data Exchange. Let's start with Bulk Data Transformation, also known as BDT. BDT transforms the historical data from the transformation source to the transformation target based on the transformation definition. You can perform bulk data transformation once when you initially set up data exchange or you can perform bulk data transformation periodically to create snapshots of your historical data whichever best fits your business needs. Changed data transformation also known as CDT, transforms the changed data from a transformation source to a transformation target based on the transformation definition. This is an ongoing process that provides the changed data in near real time from the transformation source to the transformation target. Development Workbench, or DDW, is an application designed for defining transformations between a single transformation source and one or more transformation targets. In DDW, you can select the data in the transformation source and determine how and where each of the data is placed in a transformation target. As seen here, this is a snapshot of the DDW graphical user interface. The interface contains different dockable panes. The panes are the schema and transformation view pane displays all the schemas of the source and target databases that are loaded in the development workbench and displays all the created transformations. The classifier map and feature map designer pane displays the mappings of the transformation that is currently open in the development workbench. The error list pane displays errors and warnings while defining the mappings. By default, both the errors and warnings appear in this pane. The properties pane displays the detailed information of the selected schema or transformation. And lastly, the info pane displays the help content based on the context. In DDW, an important feature is you can transform the data by defining an expression. Data Exchange supports simple expressions such as string concatenation and mathematical expressions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. As seen in this example, during a transformation, you can map two data from the source to a single target column. Then, you define an expression to concatenate the two strings. The result data received in the target database will be displayed in one column, and the result of this expression appears as seen here. The next feature is the Data Exchange Administration Site. This is a graphical user interface based web client. The administration site can be accessed using all standard web browsers. As seen here, this is a snapshot of the data exchange administration site. The source database hosts pane on the left hand displays the transformation hosts and the source databases in a tree structure. When you click a transformation source, the transformation source pane is displayed. On this pane we have the summary tab. It consists of two subtabs bulk data transformation and changed data transformation, which provide the overall status information about a transformation. The options to start or stop a BDT 
or a CDT are provided on the bottom right corner of the pane. The Transformations tab provides the details of all the transformations, such as the status, name of the transformation, version number, and the target used, that are deployed to the administration site. The Transformation Targets tab provides the details of the target databases, such as the status, name, and type of the target, that are used in the transformation. And the Statistics tab provides the graphical representation of the progress of BDT, or CDT. It enables you to understand the trend, as well as the rate at which the data transformation is happening. A few other data exchange features are. Data Exchange comes as a consolidated installation program that lets you install its components namely, Development Workbench, the Data Exchange Runtime Environment, which includes the Runtime Service, Runtime Administration, and Agent or Adapter, individually on different partitions or hosts. And finally, Data Exchange provides multi-language support for Kanji data and 8-bit non-English data. In this feature, Data Exchange can transform Kanji data and 8-bit non-English data stored in Enterprise Database Server to SQL Server. Transform Kanji data stored in Enterprise Relational Database Server to SQL Server. And transform Kanji data and 8-bit non-English data stored in SQL Server to Enterprise Database Server. So, why do you need Data Exchange? The benefits of using Data Exchange are Data Exchange is designed to be efficient. It enables you to select which data to propagate, and it can propagate changed data. Off-the-shelf applications and tools can process propagated clear path data in a SQL Server environment, and Process data from SQL Server to Enterprise Database Server, without interfering with secure and highly optimized online environments. Client applications deployed on different partitions in the clear path forward environment, have a consistent view of the data. Clients can leverage industry standard development environments, such as Microsoft Visual Studio, to build applications whose underlying data is seamlessly sourced from your clear path system. Data Exchange works with existing applications and databases deployed on your ClearPath system. And lastly, Data Exchange reduces software development costs by avoiding developing, testing, and supporting homegrown ETL tools. This brings us to the end of this tutorial video. Let's recap. This video explains what is Data Exchange and its components the features of data exchange, and its various benefits. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.